Hello, Stuart from LARP Book here. Um, I bought a new tent, so let's do a little bit of a review of it and let's see how badly I can actually put this thing up. So the tent in question is the Quencha, Quenchua, Quenchu, I don't know how to say that, A Seconds Family 4.1 XL. Uh, it's a little bit weighty to kind of uh, carry around, which is uh, 27 pounds 2 ounces or 12.3 kilograms in new money. Uh, so this is not something you can basically put on your back and go backpacking with, but you know, if you're driving up with a motorbike or a car or something like that, then I'm sure you could get away with it. Uh, I also purchased as well the Quencher Pump. I thought that might be a good idea, as this one is actually an inflatable tent. Um, and of course the obligatory mallet that goes with it. Uh, bought that as well. So let's see how we do. Right then, so I'm going to have a little go and see what we can do with this. Of course, naturally, I'm not going to read any instructions. <laughs> Right, apart from putting the guy rope, ropes out, that's pretty much it. So let's go and take a little look inside. So as you can see, it's got this wonderful uh, air pole system. <laughs> I love the sound of that. They were quite simple to, uh, to put up. You could probably see how long it was in the other video. I haven't pegged this out properly yet, but you can start to get a feel of the actual size of it. Uh, this comes sort of right out by here, and you do actually have uh, a bit of a venting system for the back, which is quite nice. Uh, there are two windows as well in this. You've got one mesh one this side, which you can probably see now. And on the other side, uh, it's uh, a plastic one, so a see-through window. Uh, but the way the rain cover works with this is you won't get any rain in. It's very clever. Uh, there is a pole, the only pole, uh, in here. Let's just step inside and I'll kind of show you a, a quick thing. I'll show you the height of this damn thing as well. Um, there is a pole that actually sits in here. I've not put it in for the time being. Uh, but I'll tell you now that I am five foot six, uh, or there thereabouts. All right, and well, to say I've got a bit of uh, <laughs> head clearance, understatement. By the way, all of this was fixed inside already. I didn't need to do that separately. Uh, so when you pack it down, it can just be packed down as one. Right now, the uh, living area. Uh, is quite spacious. I'm standing right back now. I would say there's a good six foot uh, Possibly more either way of living area uh, Which is quite nice So there's plenty there uh, If I just pop the camera around uh, Then we can see uh, basically as I said the the head height. I'm five foot six <laughs> There's loads loads of head height so easy to get dressed in here uh, while standing up. Um, the bedroom, just step in, yeah is very spacious, uh, very impressed with the size of this to be honest with you. You can just tap the camera around so you can get a sort of good look. I, again I haven't pegged anything out so you're aware but I can, well I can lie, uh, I can actually lie this way uh, in this one, 
so to get a camp cot in here, a couple of camp, two or three camp cots, shouldn't be a drama, to be honest with you. Uh, that ventilation I said is up there. It's quite airy. It's quite nice. Uh, I like it a lot, to be honest with you. Quite impressed with this. You've got the obligatory pockets along the sides uh, these days. Um, the windows, they actually sort of come with a little bit of Velcro and some hook ties here. They just pop off, roll down. Uh, and similarly then on this side, uh, for the mesh one, yeah, it's got Velcro and zips. And I say, the way the water collects in this one, because if it does come through the mesh, I don't know if you can kind of see at the bottom here, but it runs down this channel and down. Uh, fully taped seams, you name it. Yeah, I'm liking this tent quite a lot. So, that's my review of the Quencher Air, whatever it is. Um, I can't wait to actually start using this and uh, getting everything in there. Right, so let's see how easy it actually is to take down this bad boy. So apart from rolling it up and packing it away, that's it.